to show you how to download the Nestopia NES simulator for Windows using our website, freeemulator.com. So we're going to scroll on down here and go to Windows and click on Nintendo NES. Once that's loaded, you can download the Nestopia emulator by clicking the image, the text, or the download now button. I'm going to download it to the hard drive. I already created a folder for this. Save it. When it's done downloading, go ahead and close out of Firefox. Go ahead and open up our folder we created. And we'll right click the Nestopia zip file and extract it here with WinRAR. When that's done, we'll go ahead and double click on Nestopia.exe to open it up. Close out here. We'll go ahead and resize our window a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Move it around here. Okay, you can go to File. You can open a ROM right here. Um, a couple different safe state options you can uh, mess with as well. Machine, you can uh, set your input. You can even use a power glove if you have one that you can connect to it. Uh, Netplay, you can use it to configure your online play. You can uh, view screen size, change it, show your uh, status bar, go to options. And your video options, you can set the mode to whatever resolution you want. I'm just going to leave it at default for now. Filter, I like to set filter. I'll go ahead and uh, use this bottom one here. You can set to 16-bit or 32-bit. We'll go ahead and set 32-bit. You can change your colors, your brightness, saturation, contrast, and hue if you'd like. Go ahead and hit OK. Go back to options. Go to sound. Uh, you can change your frequency here. You can make it 8-bit, 16-bit sounds, um, mono, stereo all sorts of sliders you can configure. Go ahead and hit OK, go back to options, and we'll go to input. Here's where you can set whether you're going to use your keyboard to control it as, as your controller, or you can use a gamepad. I like to use an Xbox 360 controller myself. Um, but yeah, you can set all the buttons, turbos, and everything. Hit OK there. Now you're ready to go ahead and open a ROM by clicking File Open, and then you're good to go from there. One thing real quick about freeemulator.com. We do not host any ROMs. We only host emulators. But I just suggest doing a quick Google search for ROMs if you're looking for them. Thanks for watching our video.